These students travelled 11 hours to Carnarvon Gorge to spend six days immersed in nature. The camping trip is part of the Murray School's curriculum, an Aboriginal and Islander independent community school based in Acacia Ridge in Brisbane. Teacher Patrick McHugh has been at the school for seven years. He's accompanied students to Carnarvon Gorge six times. It's about learning about the bush, the environment and being in an urban school it gives the kids an opportunity to come out to somewhere incredible and um, experience a different way of, of living and a different environment. You know, being the Murray School we're very conscious of um, the protocol and community and we don't just arrive at a place um, unannounced, we make sure that we connect with the, the people who are the custodians of the land, we get the permission to come first and foremost, we make sure that the kids are welcome to country and we often um, have a traditional owner accompany us with it on our trips to make sure that you know, we're doing everything um, culturally appropriately and we're getting authentic learning and um, experiences directly from the traditional custodians. Traditional owner Auntie Mel is a Gurindjabal Gungaloo woman. Coming back here is just like coming back home every single time and it gives me goosebumps on the drive-in because there's just a magic and a powerful connection, a spiritual place that's connected here. The sharing of the culture and the sharing of the knowledge is very important as well as that understanding of um, for themselves their own connection and their own identity and their own story. The understanding that coming out to places and spaces um, wherever you are there's you know there are protocols and there are stories and everybody's into intertwine and interconnect and there's a story that connects us all. Students undertake a range of cultural activities. When we come here we just learn a lot of more more culture because like oh it's so good out here and so quiet and like kind of teaches you something respect just respect people and like show love to everybody even if you hate them. Indigenous children don't get enough opportunities to come out to places like this. Carnarvon Gorge supports uh, so much culture, language, things that us Indigenous kids need to learn. You know, so in the future, we will, we will have the ability to, to teach our younger generations. Otherwise, future time, everything will be forgotten and lost. Because we're so far being in the city, they don't get a lot of opportunities to go this far into the bush and them to really build relationships with each other. Oh, this one? This my friend. She's not really my friend, but anyway. Well, she's like, at school, she doesn't talk and like she starts to talk now, so that's like a big change. See that. Sometimes it does actually make me get teary-eyed because, you know, I mean, youth today, they have so many difficulties and challenges as it is, um, just growing up in society. And many of the kids have actually come here, they've never experienced even being on a camp, let alone out in the bush. So to see them experience it for the first time is literally like watching my own child take their first baby steps. It's just that magical.